what is going on YouTube welcome to today's video um, today I'm showing off my ultimate critters and these two are by elite replica productions Richard Pennington um, I ordered these last year I believe around December or so and this is his ultimate line, his ultimate line of critters. And he offered um, a ton of different options on these. Uh, you could get them with um, screen accurate hair. Um, you have the three, the, the, the variant version of critters. Um, Bald Larry, which you see there. Uh, standard Krite and uh, Bleach Burned Krite. Um, you can have them with the open or closed mouth option. I picked these. This is a run of 50. Uh, I got these two. This is actually number 15 and number 16. And uh, I love these so much when I opened them up um, the other day that I uh, contacted Richard and I got slot number 50, the last one. I want to get his bleach, bur uh, bleach burned. Uh, right. So these two, I believe, are from uh, Critters 2. Uh, Bald Larry, which I love, <laughs> um, is from that scene where he gets shot and his hair gets blown off, his wig gets blown off, and he looks in the mirror and he goes bitching. Um, these were great movies in the 80s. They don't make movies like these anymore. Um, so yeah, these are, these are latex replicas. The, the palate, the mouth, the palate, the inner mouth, uh, the teeth and everything are all resin. Acrylic custom eyes by Richard, and he backs them with this re reflective sort of material. So, uh, especially in, in, the, in this, these shots, because I have the flash on on my, on my, um, my cell phone, you can see how reflective Bob Larry's eyes are. The very cool thing about this, I didn't expect he includes a metal base, uh, metal stand, so that your critters uh, can stand on their own. I have a, a small um, surface area to display where I do these unboxings and stuff like that. So uh, I have them up against one another. Uh, the, the other cool thing with this run is that uh, uh, Richard just tossed out a whole bunch of cool um, uh, extras with these pieces. Uh, you got a free gift with each one, and it was either an egg, a hatched egg, or a hatchling. Um, and for this, I chose uh, an egg and a hatched egg. And let's, let, me, uh, let me break those out. So here's the egg, and it's an all resin piece. You can see how large it is compared to uh, the two krites. And here's the, the hatched egg. And the green slime ooze around it um, is actually, let me with a flash, it's actually this really cool slimy material that stays, um, stays together. I love this hatched egg that he created. Um, hopefully the, the camera's catching this right now, but you can see um, both Larry's eyes really glowing here. The sculpts are beautiful. Um, I know he owns, he does a, a whole bunch of different, he does a puppet, he has a standard crate that he does. Um, and the ultimate, I mean, I hopefully, I know this is a run of 50 and that's supposed to be it. Um, I'm not one of those collectors that like to have stuff and 
um, one of a kind. I mean, I, I, I like one of a kind pieces, um, but I know how it feels like when you see something cool and you want in on it and um, it's just impossible to get or the, the props are unavailable. Um, these are so nicely done that I, you know, it would be cool if you reconsidered and open, open this back up um, to other collectors who maybe weren't aware that he was doing these. Sorry, just coming up the flash. Um, again, these are big pieces. Um, I was actually surprised to see how big they were. Um, just compare them, the size of them compared to some of these life-size busts. have some um, considerable weight to them. Oh, and another cool feature is each crate, he provides a certificate of authenticity for them, which um, he's still working on. I don't have that yet. Um, he also puts a metal button underneath each foot um, that has a number. And um, I thought it was just a, a, a very cool touch for a fan-made prop. Um, a lot of thought went into these. And I know the wait was kind of long, um, but it was worth the wait. It was worth the price um, he commands on these pieces. And um, I just love them, man. I think I'm gonna, you know, I got the bleach burned on order. I wanna see what other options he comes up with in the future. But I don't think um, these will be the last pieces that I, I pick up from him. Um, let me pull out, I have, I actually have a Raging Zombie Effects Krite, the hand puppet. Let me pull that out on the baby and I'll try to have them side by side. So here is the, the Raging Zombie Effects um, puppet that I picked up uh, directly from him um, compared to ERP's um, Krite. And this, this is the baby uh, that I, I got alongside this one from Ra Raging Zombie Effects back in the day. Uh, these these two were actually um, uh, display pieces that he took to conventions and had on his table uh, and I was able to pick this up so here they are side by side as you can see the ultimates are larger um, taller than the um, Raging Zombie effects piece and Richard actually owns the molds now to this and he owns them all to this one, and he actually redid the teeth, so he offers those for sale as well. So um, anyone interested in this, the hand puppet, um, you, you can get them now again through Richard. And as you can see, Richard is no slouch. His ultimates are beautiful. Um, the I think the, the reflective eyes, man, that, that's such a, it has such a cool effect when you see it, when you see this and there's a little light shining into the room and, um, and the eyes start to glow. The flash is not hitting the brown right, quite right to get the same effect um, from him. So um, for anyone wondering, um, the ultimate are uh, about 17 inches tall so it's again these are these are big pieces uh, I don't know for what reason why I thought these were were gonna be I didn't think they were gonna be as big as they were so when I pulled them out of the box uh, I was pleasantly surprised and I can't recommend Richard's work enough uh, I really do love these pieces um, I love creatures, I love monsters, I love the 80s, and these just absolutely capture that period of filmmaking and these movies, especially part one and part two. While the, again, while the ultimate line is done, he does offer a standard version of these Frights. And um, 
for anyone interested, I'll, I'll put a link uh, to Richard's Facebook, ERP's Facebook and Etsy pages. And you know, there's a new Critters movie coming. I saw the new trailer and everything like that. So hopefully we'll see a whole bunch of new options out of ERP. For those who don't like the trailer or, you know, that, that short or anything like that, uh, you know, that's fine. Uh, but the replicas themselves are, are gorgeous. Here's the egg. Nicely painted. Some serious weight to this piece. Um, it, I don't know if it's a solid resin piece, but it's definitely not hollow. Again, very cool of him to offer these, these freebies. Um, I just think for the for what for his commission fee. You got a lot of bang for your buck. <clears throat> and just if I shift over here, you know, there goes my gremlins. So um, when I get this basement all organized, uh, hopefully they'll, they'll display nicely together. So again, there you have it. Copies number 15 and 16 of ERP's Ultimate Fritter line. Um, I do have one more variant com um, coming in, number 50. So I guess I'm probably a few weeks to a month, couple months away from getting that one in. And I'll do another video when that comes in to show them all together. Um, I did choose another egg. Um, I didn't choose a hatchling, which probably would have made more sense, but I, I love the way those eggs look, the display um, with them. So thank you again, Richard. Um, anyone interested, all the information will be in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later. Have a great weekend.